Now I'll demonstrate you how to test the course that you have created and you click on this test course and uh, all the courses made by you will make a list here so in your case it will be just one course that you have created and this is the last one which we are creating this subject is again is comprehension the comprehension power and the detail of this course is see this is the subject topic subtopic and about this course so in this way in program this course is test simulations of this course in this case there is only one relation if there are many relations all the relations will be listed here and you can test any relation that you have created this is the one relation that you have created test it now and see how it is coming this is how the student will see it and the first question was to read aloud the comprehensive passes and the student has to record his voice to record the voice he has to click here record your answer and another phase will open where they have to plug in their microphone and click on the record once they click the record and this has to be click allow and now we can now we can even record the voice is getting recorded once the reading is over they can minimize it and uh, read the sentences from all this comprehension passes and when they, once they stop this recording the paragraph is finished they can stop it and they can listen it whatever they have recorded or they can retry and re-record this and then to save this or send the link of this voice you need to click here and click on this link click and copy ctrl c now you can close this window and paste the link of the voice on this ctrl v and then submit the answer so in this way the question is answered and uh, next question will come so in this way we can it test the course uh, that we have created okay now uh, suppose uh, now you like to see how the student is going to see this course and take this course once they are assigned this course so you can log in as a student here work as a student teacher can also work as a student and see how the relations appears so this will come to the list of the current course that the student is taking and for this list to appear the student has to first apply the, for this course apply for this course and they will see the various courses in all the subjects for English they will apply for course and again the various uh, courses in English like this you apply so only in this a student the course is uh, assigned to so for the course to assign our staff will see all these application and they will validate the course and assign the teacher who is responsible for managing the course now we'll click on the start course and the course which is currently on for that particular student will be getting this list here this is the thing and then practice this course and uh, they have already taken this course so they can again take this course and uh, in the first attempt number one the answer was wrong they can improve on this and the course will appear like this this is the second question that you have made what is the topic of this passage maybe one or three will answer if they don't know they can click convert to otherwise submit the answer you see the question is the result is right uh, the second second by the student is 40 is 13 second 47 second less than maximum time allowed is 60 second so the efficiency will be calculated at 178 so if the answer is right as well as it is given in the right time and it's less than the allotted time the efficiency will be more so you can categorize and grade different students mm -hmm. in how much time they have given the correct answer in how many attempts and the efficiency will be calculated so that you can see the ranking of different students so this is the explanation that you had uh, pasted in that question making session so
next two questions are still remaining in this or answer next question click anything and the next question will appear in this way the next question is this so if the children don't know the question answer they can click on don't know and uh, the option the answer will be given to them as well as the explanation so in this way as this question was not answered so still two questions are left so this question will be asked to them repeatedly unless they answer the question correctly at the right time so the main idea of the passive is that trees are used for many things and then they will click on here they are right now on one question left so in this way the student will see the various uh, answers of the question as well as the explanation and this will include also the various images and sound links if you have attached them in the explanation part the images and sound link will be here so that the student can listen to you or even see the various YouTube videos or even the images of explanation on this page so they will be given complete explanation of the answer that uh, uh, they have given and in this way student can know subject from the curiosity level because once they have their question their curiosity rises and if they are given that explanation in a correct way in an expanded way then that information is going to hold in their mind and this will be very helpful in a revision you see if then if they have not answered correctly in the first attempt or second attempt and third attempt they will get this explanation repeatedly and read it so that next time when they revise they will answer them correctly with high efficiency and that's where the the subject will hold on into their mind so this is what uh, this is the way how a student will see this course now you can go here and work as teacher again click here now you can see the user result as a student you have answered the question and the student is the same writing as the teacher just to see the result and what are the lessons that you want to see to check the result this is the relation and check the result of this particular relation that the student is taking and uh, you can see this two answer is right that's there it was done in attempt number two attempt number three so this is the attempts and uh, how much time did it take out of maximum time and what was the efficiency and you can see the rank of different students and in this case only one student is there so there is uh, one rank if uh, there are many students the rank will be ordered here in the order of efficiency so that you can know which student is performing good or in lower in the rank and then you can see the answer and explanation of this particular question or you can give the feedback to student about this question give feedback here if you want to tell the student certain thing even you can record your voice and send the link here in the voice link similarly to recording and then you can write the text feedback and in this particular question uh, the voice answer questions you have to give the feedback in the form of efficiency because efficiency will be calculated here manually not by the computer that you have to listen to the answer given by the student and uh, you have to write this efficiency if you find it more than 80 then they will not be asked this question again otherwise they will again have to record this voice and the answer has to be seen by you so you can submit your feedback and uh, the feedback has been sent student would not have to be to this question again because you have given efficiency more than 80 so that's how this uh, whole program works so that you can see the result of the student and give them feedback so this completes the whole circle of uh, the online course that you can create a course you can edit the course you can test the course you can check your result and now you can control the course suppose you want the student to take another relation of the same course the student ID is here and click on that 
and suppose the student is taking this uh, particular course and there are only one lesion if uh, you want the student to move on to the next lesion or even come back to the previous lesion there is a list of lesions here and you can click whatever the lesion you want the student to take again or go to the next lesion you have to assign this here as a teacher you can control the course of the students as he or she requires or deserves in his course and this is I think the complete explanation of uh, all the thing that we are providing in this course of course there is a lot of possibility of further enhancement and improvement but let us first begin with this software which is unique in itself it makes uh, teacher student interaction very live and uh, interactive as well as informative and so that you can track the performance of the students and monitor their performance and, uh, and timeline and all this uh, will feedback will be given to the parents how the student is performing and where they are progressing and uh, the constant feedback will help them to improve uh, the performance of these students thank you